Schools where there are behaviour problems are generally schools in stressed social situations, seaside towns, inner cities. Because it's difficult to recruit staff, because there's pressure on the management team, a number of quite familiar situations might arise. The new head that doesn't have the trust of the rest of the management team. The management team that finds it all too easy to blame the staff rather than analysing the situation. A management team that's split in its philosophy about how the school is run. And when those splits and differences exist in a senior management team, they'll be reflected right the way throughout the institution and they'll be reflected in student behaviour. And if we're interested in school transformation, the first thing we have to be interested in is the unity of purpose and skills of the senior management team. And the first place to check that and to start working is by doing an audit of what's happening in the school and then looking at how the senior management team organises itself around the data and how effectively it plans to put things right. And that often involves tough talking. A few years ago, I had a really difficult time. Myself and another uh, deputy head teacher were trying to talk to a group of, of year 10s um, about what the rules were in, the school, what, what, in a school and why they should be following them. And we weren't getting a hearing at all. And, and we tried to think why this might be. And it came to us. We just asked them to spend a couple of minutes telling us what they thought rules were. And it very quickly became clear to us that they thought that rules were uh, traps that were laid for them by adults to get them punished. And they didn't have a conception of rules uh, as something, that, uh, as sets of procedures that allow people to get their rights and responsibilities realised. We have rights to learn, we have rights to feel safe, we have, we have, we have rights to feel uh, protected in the classroom. And in order uh, to receive the benefit of those rights, we have to we also have responsibilities. I've got a responsibility to be an interesting, engaging teacher. You've got a responsibility to help other people learn. Uh, that's also been, that, that creeps now into SEAL and other programs as well. But that establishes uh, the, the fundamentals of why we have rules and routines.